Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm really excited to share something special with you. We're diving into the latest Evolution X9.3 ROM on Poco F1. Now, this isn't just any custom ROM. It's packed with some awesome features, and I'm gonna walk you through all of them. So, if you're into custom ROMs, love tweaking your phone, or just wanna get the most out of your device, stick around because we got a lot to cover. All right, let's get started with the installation. Now, I know installing a custom ROM can be a bit daunting, but I promise I'll guide you through every step to make it as smooth as possible. So first things first, I'm using Orange Fox Recovery for this installation. I start by formatting the data, selecting Dalvik, Cache, Android Secure, Data, Internal Storage, and Metadata. Once that's done, it's important to reboot into Recovery again. And then we go ahead and format the data by typing yes in the dialog box. Next up, I connect my phone to the PC, copy the ROM file, and select it in the recovery to flash. Don't forget to wipe the cache afterwards. Then it's just a matter of hitting the reboot system option. After a quick reboot, we're all set. As you can see, the ROM boots up nicely. And I'll quickly set up the phone to show you what we're working with. There it is, Evolution X, running Android 14. Let's dive into some of the cool features now. The Evolution X with Android 14. One of the things I absolutely love about Evolution X is the sheer amount of customization options. In the revolver settings, you can tweak your phone's themes. Changing font style, icon shapes. Change the status bar, customize the icons, and even adjust the lock screen settings. There's also a handy option to enable screenshots for secure flag windows under miscellaneous settings. It's little touches like these that make your phone truly yours. Now let's talk about battery life. The diagnostics feature here is super helpful. It shows all the info you need. My phone does have a good battery life as I have replaced recently from Service Center. And there's even an option to adjust thermal profiles. During my tests, the battery performed really well in idle mode, which is always a good sign. Back to the home screen, the Google Wallpapers app have more new Pixel features. This room comes with a really cool feature, the Emoji Workshop. You can create your own wallpaper using different patterns, colors, and emojis. It's a fun way to personalize your device even more. For those interested in performance, I ran a Geekbench test. The scores were average, 391 for single core and 1169 for multi-core, which is decent, but not groundbreaking. I also did a CPU throttling test, and I'm happy to report that the temperature remained under control, giving a fair performance. This was the result after the test and performance is more consistent enough to handle daily tasks. Of course, I couldn't resist testing out some gaming. I played BGMI for a solid two hours and the performance was top notch. The only downside, the battery drained a bit faster than I would have liked. But overall, the gaming experience was intense and really enjoyable. Before we wrap up, just a couple more things to highlight. The ROM now passes play integrity, and Play Protect is certified, so you're good to go on that front. The Google Photos comes with unlimited backup and no change.
Plus, they fixed the Google Photos magic eraser crash. So it's working perfectly now. And that's it. Evolution X9.3 on the Poco F1. An amazing ROM with a ton of features and great performance. If you have any questions or need help, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next one.